Hi, welcome back to Daydreams of Quilts on YouTube. I'm Anita and I had a question from Colleen. Hi Colleen, if you're watching. She wanted me to show how I made my cutting or my pressing board. So I have this big one here and I also have a little one right here, right beside my sewing machine. So I don't have any more plywood. So I can't make another one from scratch, but I'll show you what I did. I have a piece of plywood and on the front side, I also have two layers of batting. I don't know if you can see this. One and two. And then this is upholstery weight fabric from Ikea. These were curtains and had a whole bunch to cut off. So I had this leftover curtain fabric from Ikea. It's cotton. I would recommend definitely cotton, 100% cotton, but upholstery weight fabric for your cover. So I just put the two layers of batting down plus this upholstery weight fabric. And then we just pulled the fabric tight in the center and stapled. And you do that on all four sides and then you just keep going around, pulling the fabric tight and stapling with heavy duty construction staples. If you have a pneumatic staple gun, that would be awesome. Uh, otherwise you need to use the, the hand staple gun, which my hands are not strong enough to um, put this many staples in with that. So my husband did all the stapling and I held the fabric. And then at the corner, you just sort of miter the corner and then staple several times in the corner and you just go all the way around like that and that's it and that's how you make a pressing board i've been using this one for a few years it's got some water stains on it and there's been no problems with it at all i use it for uh adhering cricket vinyl and for pressing quilting projects i've had no trouble with this but if you want some other options you can always google uh, how to make a pressing board and I'm sure you'll probably find some other ideas there too but I have two of them and I use them quite often so I hope that helps and have fun making your pressing board don't forget to click like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos from daydreams of quilts